नेक्स्ट आप एक माननीय पत्रकार और ऑथर जिसने अपना करियर एक बॉलीवुड गॉसिप मैगजीन में शुरू किए थे There's no profession in the world where you get to learn so much every day. Farida Master is a reporter for the Howick and Pakuranga Times, a community paper covering events in the eastern suburbs of Auckland. Now being in this community newspaper, what I find fascinating is that we as journalists connect communities. If there's someone who's doing really well, we give them a pat on the back and tell their story. If there's someone who's really angry about something and what's something to be done like, you know, angry with the council, we tell their story. If someone gone through a tragedy, we tell their story. It's a far cry from Farida's first job on a magazine reporting on the comings and goings in Bollywood. A film glossy called Stardust. It was the largest selling gossip magazine <laughs> in the country. I grew up dealing with really difficult stars uh, because I was so young. I was often sent to uh, interview stars who had stopped talking to the magazine, who had banned the magazine. And I remember my editor saying, "You're such an innocent 21-year-old. You just tell them I don't know anything. But would you like to talk to me?" And they did. Some of them came to see her as more than a reporter. They just called me at any hour of the day or night. had the star calling me at midnight and saying can you come for a drive with me because i'm feeling really down and i want to commit suicide farida moved on to be a reporter then editor of a magazine in pune a city of about 4 million in india i just love the city there were times i wanted to actually kiss the ground i was walking on and so when my husband said that it's time we moved to a better country I was like why and he said it's the corruption and uh, so much pollution and my first thing was like so how does it affect us <laughs> However Farida and her family did move to New Zealand in 2005 I had told my husband that if I don't get a job in the media we're going back because I have spent more than 20 years doing this and I don't intend to do anything else Her experiences in those first few years gave her an appreciation for the difficulties immigrants face. I think immigrants are a very brave breed because it's uprooting yourself completely and starting afresh. And it's a huge learning curve, huge. It sounds like Farida learned quickly. She worked in the features department at the Herald for 7 years, then wrote two biographies, and now has spent 4 years at the Howick Pakuranga Times. a paper with a long and distinguished history every person i interview i feel it's not just a subject for the newspaper it is also stimulating to your being because when you meet people you know it's it's the energy you share and you're in that space with people who have achieved so much and you're asking them all the questions because you want to take away something for yourself from there as well She has some advice for young people entering the world of journalism, but equally valid for new immigrants. Take chances all the time. Uh take the leap of faith, try different things. Continue to contribute to the community all the time because you never know who you might meet, what connections you would make. And even if you don't, you go back home feeling much richer for having met some amazing people along the way. Chef Anthony comes from Goa, an area famous for seafood, but today we're cooking with chicken. Today we are making chicken shakuti. Mm-hmm. It's a dish that's normally served for festivities. So first, we need to dry roast a few spices. Mm-hmm. And when you say few, you're talking about 10, 15? Yeah, around 8 or 9 of them. Okay? So we start off with some cinnamon, mm-hmm. some poppy seeds. Coriander seeds. Yep. peppercorn some cloves these are all the ingredients that go into making a garam masala right yes it's pretty much some cumin and some cardamom so we're going to kind of dry roast them we're kind of just roasting them on a very medium very to medium to low flame uh, basically we're trying to get it aromatic it will add that flavor 
when the food is ready. Red Kashmiri chilies. Mm -hmm. The reason why we use Kashmiri chilies and not the spicy chilies is because we just want the color yeah. in the chicken. We don't really want the spiciness to come through. Wow, you can already smell it coming through. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as we say, it's always the love that makes the food more tasty. Not the number of chilies. No. <laughs> So my spices have turned aromatic and if I go any further cooking this, it'll start turning bitter. Okay. So at this stage, I'm going to take them off the heat. And they're transferred into a blender to cool. So while that's cooling down, I'm just, I'm going to start off with my coconut. Mm -hmm. Anthony is using fresh grated coconut. If you don't have fresh coconut, you can always use uh, desiccated, desiccated coconut or dry coconut. Mm -hmm. But it's very important that you roast it because of the flavor. It will give you a nice nutty flavor okay. uh, at the end product. It's very important that you keep continuously stirring the coconut as well. So it doesn't burn. Uh, because it, it shouldn't burn. So what we are trying to do over here is uh, actually brown or caramelize the sugar that the coconut has mm -hmm. and remove the oil from the coconut. So I think I'm going to stop at this stage because any more and it will start burning. burning. So that's a nice brown colour that I want. Mm -hmm. The roasted coconut is added to the roasted spices in the blender, followed by some water. All right. That smell? So that's our spice ready. Mm, nice. And you can actually smell the aromatics coming through. So we're going to start making the gravy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start off with some coconut oil. And once that's melted, I'm going to add my spices. To this, I'm going to add some turmeric as well. Mm -hmm. Portugal ruled Goa for 450 years and left its mark on the local cuisine. If you go to Portugal or if you go to Brazil, mm -hmm. they have pretty much the same dishes that we make. For example, things what we call as perad, yeah. which is a guava cheese, yeah. bibinka, Bibin. dos, dodol. It peri peri as well. All, it all comes down from the Portuguese heritage. All right, so our spice is nicely cooked through. And it, if you noticed, it was light orange and it's kind of turned to the darker yeah. shade. At this stage, I'm going to add my chicken. So I'm using chicken with bone in. Yeah. You could use boneless chicken if you like. I always prefer to add the bone because it adds more flavor. Brown the chicken, add some water and some salt and then let it simmer in the gravy for 15 minutes. The chicken is looking good. Yeah, the oil right. the oil has come up as well. That means I know our dish is ready to go. And if you see the gravy, it has that bits of pieces of coconut as well mm. in there. And that's what an authentic shakuti should be, where you can taste the coconut coming mm. through. And you can feel it too when you eat. In your mouth. And you can definitely see the poppy seeds as well. Yes. Nice texture. So that gives you the texture, the colour, the flavour. And they are like I would say small atomic bombs in your mouth mm. because they pop and they taste really good. Thanks, Anthony. It oh, looks welcome. and smells amazing. So, what do you think about it? Really nice. Love the texture and the poppy seeds, of course. Yeah. Mm. And uh, like any Goan cuisine or cooking, we always cook it one day before and serve it the next day. It soaks up all the flavors. And, yeah. mm. Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. This program was made with the support of New Zealand On Air.